Hey, what's up guys? It's barbecue time. I got some new steaks. And these look really good. Check them out. Those are full of goodness right there. So I've been struggling to get the barbecue going. And I'm an idiot, man, because I had the propane off rather than on. The information is right on the propane tank and I couldn't see it. Look at this. Like right there it says close and open. This way, closes this way. And I've been struggling for the last 10 minutes here trying to figure out why the hell is my barbecue not lighting up. Like, am I that stupid? But uh, anyway, yeah, got my steaks on the grill. Check it out. Like, just look how beautiful that is. Got my salt and pepper on it. Got my barbecue. This barbecue took like two hours to put together, believe it or not. And my brand new propane tank. I gotta talk to you guys about something. So I went into a grocery store today and I picked up a couple items. And on the shelf it says on the tag there, if you buy one, you get one for $8.99. And if you buy two, then you get it at uh, $6.99. Well, here's the problem. I go to the till and I notice that, first of all, they're not scanning at $8.99 each. And I'm not getting the deal because I've bought two for $6.99. And they're actually scanning at $9.99 each. All right. And like I said, I'm not getting that deal at $6.99 each. So basically here in Alberta, and I think it's only in an Alberta thing, if your item is below $10 in cost, okay, and it scans up incorrectly in Alberta, you're supposed to get that item for free. Now, according to the cashier that I was dealing with, she tells me that's not correct and that I only get the item at the sale price as what it should be. But in fact, the item should be free if it scans in incorrectly. So I had to call a manager and the manager came over and I explained that, hey, this item didn't scan up in the correct price, therefore I should get it for free. The manager then said, yes, I'm correct and I will get one of the items for free and I would get the other item at the $6.99 and that's totally fine with me. Steaks are looking pretty good. I thought there was only two steaks in that package. It turns out to be two and a half. The problem is is that if I didn't know about that I would have believed that cashier and I would have only paid the $6.99 each for the two items that I bought. Okay? So therefore, either they don't know what they're talking about or they pretend that it isn't true so that they don't have to give you the free item. But regardless, they should know about it. And if they don't, why don't they? This has happened to me many times. N not just this grocery store that I have went to. All right, It's happened to me at other places as well. So they're playing dumb, I'm guessing, right? But when you bring it to their attention, then they, then they go, oh yeah. So if you didn't know about that uh, policy or that law, I guess it's a law, that's in place here in Alberta, now you do. So the next time you go to the grocery store, make sure your item scans through the till correctly at the price that it's showing. Check your receipts guys, because I'm sure it's happening to a lot of people if you're buying stuff in bulk, that you're not going to realize that, hey, I did not get the deal that the sign said I was going to get if I buy two items. Or I'm not getting the sale price that the, the, the tag showed. I got lucky that I only bought two items and I noticed it right away. But how many times is it happening to you 
if you're buying a whole bunch of groceries. The best thing to do is check the till as the item is being scanned through. Just, just keep checking your prices, right? Don't get screwed, right? I mean, if that's what they're offering, that's what you should get, right? I don't care whether I got a free item or not. My point is, if that's a policy, or if that's the rule, or if that's the law, then I should get my free item. It's just something that you guys should know. Because I'm not sure if uh, everybody knows about it. Um, but now you should, because you're watching this channel. I burnt my steaks because I was doing this damn video. Look. Damn it. <laughs> oh, whatever. I'm still going to eat it. I'm so hungry. I'll eat anything right now. It's going to be a great weekend this weekend. It's going to be 30 degrees on Saturday and Sunday. But unfortunately, I got to work on Sunday. So I only have Saturday free. I'm going to try and do some kind of a video tomorrow. We'll see. I have lots of stuff I got to do. But um, I'm motivated to keep doing videos on this channel. Something that I really enjoy doing uh, and want to keep doing. And uh, thank you to my 19 subscribers. This channel is growing, but it's taken a long time to get you know anywhere so uh, my friend Mike has a hundred and ninety eight subscribers right now and uh, I'm stuck on 19 so it's gonna come I know it uh, just have to find the right video that everyone's gonna be interested in and then it's just gonna skyrocket I'm pretty sure so but thanks again for watching guys I really appreciate all the subscribers and all the views that I'm getting and uh, some of the comments that I'm receiving so uh, thank you very much and uh, I've received a couple of emails as well so I really appreciate that anyways that's my tip of the day and uh, I'll catch you guys in the next video ciao